Dual Review is brought to you by NexusDigitalComics.com. On today's Dual Review, it's One Hour Photo. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome to Friday the 16th of November. We are doing one hour photo. That's right. And uh, Mark Romanek, uh, he is a, a music video director. He has done a couple of uh, feature films. This is one of them. It is a Fox Searchlight uh, film, so it is a you know low budget kind of indie thing. 2002. Um, I love this film. This is this is a great film. And uh, the guy who figured out to put Rob Williams in this role as Cy, the photo guy, is brilliant because it is an amazing portrayal. You get kind of this unnerving quality, but also an endearing quality from Robin. Uh, he just plays it so brilliantly. So the story is uh, Cy, the, I always want to say Cy Tolliver, because that's from Deadwood, but Cy the photo guy, I forget what his last name is, if he even has one. Yeah, he does. I'm sure he does. Yeah. And, and you see it once, it's like Cy, his name is Parrish. Seymour Parrish. Yeah. Cy, Cy Parrish, so Cy is the tech lab, you know, photo lab tech uh, in a major market like uh, Walmart ish place uh, called like Save a Lot or something. Save, like that. Yeah. And um, he has developed an unhealthy relationship with one of his patrons. Um, she started coming there, uh, what, nine and a half years earlier or whatever. Right. And she has since had has a child as well. And so he saw this child named Jake grow up through the photos that she had developed. And uh, we get this kind of interesting moment where he goes over some of his customers. It's like, you know, Mrs. Nelnick. She she only brings me pictures of cats. I've never yeah. seen a human, just her cats, you know, kind of thing. And then, like, the amateur porn guys who are like, they, they never think that anybody's going to see their photos. It's just a machine that does it. But, you know, the photo, the tech lab guys, they all see it or whatever. And it, that was kind of interesting. And then there's another guy who does, like, insurance claims or whatever. And uh, the highlight of his life is this gal who brings in her family photos of Jake's birthday parties and all that sort of thing. And he's become very familiar with them and speaks to them very familiarly. And, again, you get this thing where you know that Sai is a lonely soul. And um, so it's kind of sweet, you know, in a way. But at the other other side, it's like he knows way too much about these people. Yeah. And then you see his photo wall, Ugh. which is is just creepy. That is creepy. He's got like these big floodlights. Like every the, time uh. the lady comes in, um, she gets like two duplicates or whatever, and he puts three instead of two, and so he takes a duplicate set for himself, uh, unknowing to her, of course, and uh, puts his choice photos on the wall, makes this mosaic of this family that he has nothing, you know, no ties with other than the, the you know, whatever. Right. She's a customer. And so, I, sh- I want to say that it's specifically the family, not any anyone in particular. Yeah, you know, he doesn't have like a thing for her or her child. Yeah, he has it, a thing for the family. It is definitely more of a paternal relationship or, right. or platonic relationship. It's just uh, with the family, really, right. in general. He, he wants to be Uncle Cy is what it is. He, and in fact, there's some scenes where he like like he sees a photo and then he juxtaposes himself into them. Yeah, which is just kind of yeah. Yeah, mental things where he puts himself into that scene and but uh, so I think, I think i'm sorry real quickly the uh the one scene where he's like on the on the toilet in their house that was i was like what the hell is he doing <laughs> you remember that scene yeah, yeah oh man that was like oh my god this guy and then you find out that well so he has these moments where he sucks it, it sucks you in and you're kind of rooting for Cy or you feel for him and then it's juxtaposed with the reveal of the creepy wall of yeah. photos or um him with a gun at at you know it, it turns out to be kind of like a, a mental thing anyway I guess I won't spoil that. Um, but it does such a great job of dancing in between the two. Because at the very end, even though he's doing some really weird shit, oh, yeah. I feel for him. I actually do. And I still, uh, the, 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 the ending does leave a question in your mind, like what actually happened and what he was trying to accomplish. Because the whole photo thing was not anything... Comp- like. Yeah, he, he didn't... Well, I, I'm not going to give it away, but I'll yeah, explain we, it later. Yeah, we can talk it later, but... Um, I, I just really enjoy the portrayals. Um, What's her name is from also from uh, Gladiator, which I didn't know was her. My my wife thinks she's great, so she recognized her. I didn't. Um, so she did a great job in here. Yeah, she did do a great job. And uh, Jake, for a child actor, pretty darn good. The guy who played Jake, uh, Dylan Smith. Uh, but yeah, Connie Nielsen was Nina Yorkin. Right. And then Michael uh, Barrington is Will Yorkin. 
Uh, so I guess the crux of the story is that Psy, you know, he, he's kind of living vicariously through this family. Right. And then he stumbles upon something that is really pivotal to the marriage. Right. I, I don't know how else to say that without spoiling it. So anyway, I'm probably already spoiled it, but yeah. tough. Uh, anyway, so he, he, he does his duty, and I'm not sure I wouldn't do similar thing, and he basically outs it to her, and instead of her reacting the way that he thinks would be appropriate, she kind of just ignores it. Right. And so he is outraged, and he's really hurt, like he's more hurt than she is, and so he goes the extra mile to make it known and to make it something that they cannot ignore. And he does accomplish that. At the yes. end of the movie, we get this kind of, you know, the, they look at each other and you know that, you know, it, it's just beginning for them for that. But really, once he accomplishes that, he kind of ruins his own life. And, yeah. you know, it's one of those things that you could tell that he kind of wasn't concerned about being caught. Yeah, basically what happens is at some point in time he loses his job and this is the job that he's had for 11 years and he's and he and he loves it he, you know he, he is his job that he has nothing else other than you know the, right, the very meticulous the fantasies that he's put into his his uh his his pictures um so when when he loses that he really feels like he has nothing else to lose so, so he just pushes him over the edge to right. bonding with his family right and he has, yeah, the fantasy that he is, in fact, Uncle Sai. And at one moment, you don't know what's real and what's not. And it's just a brilliant little film. Now, another thing that I'll bring up is the the color correction in this movie is is wonderful. Yes. Um, because it is partly, you know, to do with the photo lab where you expose red and then blue and then green and you know, whatever at different times to make a color exposure. Um the scenes are all washed green, or they're washed blue, or they're washed pristine white. That yeah. makes it kind of unsettling and you know too sterile and all that stuff. It really uses color well and wisely. And I'm not usually, you know, I don't really like color, but used in this way, it is is so wonderful. It is, uh, and it's so understated in a way. I mean, it's overstated in another way because you know scenes are completely green, but you may not notice it all the time. Uh, but it's just a brilliant little thing that really adds to the film. Right. There's a lot of tension. I mean, the atmosphere is amazing. It just, everything works in this movie. It's great, and I recommend it highly. Yeah, yeah, I, I do too. And it, though it is a little creepy at times, um, oh, sorry. it's just a great film. I, I think it should not be missed. Agreed, yeah. Uh, I would highly recommend picking this up. It is it is wonderful. Un unfortunately, it's not on Netflix. I don't think it ever has been yet. Uh, hopefully, sometime in the near future. But a uh, brilliant little film you shouldn't miss, and um, that's our two cents. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, do a review, and watch our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Moonflower and Fover are great. Thank you, thank you, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us in our new digs by buying your wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, card games, art prints, shirt stories, and more. Okay, see you. Taking it all the way to the next week. Next week, a few attention-worthy webcomics. Hey guys, welcome to... A show we do... Sometimes... When we're not sad. <laughs> Whoever cast Robin Williams is freaking brilliant. Yes. And should be kissed on the mouth repeatedly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> should be rewarded in some way that they enjoy. Because it is brilliant. He's really? Continue. What's going on? There you go. Oh. Alright, one more. Nope, one more. Nope, you were wrong. I'm never wrong. Well, oh, you were wrong that time. Nope. Oh, okay. You just didn't do it right. <laughs> you said one more, and I went one more. No, you went two more. I did not.